Hello everyone! We're in Odessa, which is in Ukraine, by the Black Sea. Odessa was founded in 1794. At that time, the Russian Empire was fighting against the Ottoman Empire to grab the lands that the Ottoman Empire controlled north of the Black Sea. For Catherine the Great, the Russian Tsar, the necessity was to have a port that was open all year round. The view of Catherine the Great was to build a new St. Petersburg in the south. Since its foundation, Odessa was a true cosmopolitan city. Tsar invited people from all over Europe to come here and settle and build the city. These are the famous Potemkin stairs, which uh, connect the port to the city center. They are very famous uh, for the Eisenstein uh, movie from 1925. Odessa on Primorsky Boulevard, um, next to the Potomkin steps and to the Richelieu statue. This was a man who came to Odessa when it was nothing and in 11 years he made it the number three city in the Russian Empire. First day, unfortunately, our cannon passed away. It doesn't seem to be working anymore. So from now we film with an iPhone and with a GoPro. The historical center of Odessa is similar to the 1900 European style, yeah. something like Paris and Vienna, for example. The most iconic building in the whole of Odessa is probably the Opera House, which was built by two Austrian architects. We actually have to admit that we, got re we were really, really impressed by the passage, which is like a, a gallery, which is filled with like statues and all ornaments around the windows and is now used like for uh, commercial purposes. So you have like shops. Towards the end of the 19th century, Odessa became a kind of like one of the main points for criminality. Being by the sea, it was easy to bring in like, you know, products or bootlegging, racketeer people as well. So that unfortunately characterized the city for a few years. We are working in the Mall Tavanka neighbors. This is like a, very, is a popular neighbor outside the city center where all the immigrants started to come in and started to settle back in the days. So Moldavians, Bulgarians, Greeks, and later Jewish. The main writer of Odessa was Isaac Babel and he wrote about uh, these neighbors and about the characters of, of this part of the city. And here in this courtyard is where uh, the main character, the gangster of Moldavanka, uh, was supposed to live, uh, actually in the house at that corner. The underground Odessa is not just a figurative term to define the criminal activity in Odessa. Underground Odessa has a very literal meaning. Underneath Odessa there are more than 2,000 kilometers of tunnels and caves. Today a portion of it can be seen. So we're about to visit the catacombs, which were originally like mines where they were excavating limestone to build the city, utilized during the Second World War to, from the Partisan. And then throughout history, kind of like utilized to bootleg and you know bring in goods coming from the port. During the Second World War, Odessa was controlled by the Romanian army. In fact, the Bessarabia and Odessa 
were promised uh, to be annexed to the Romanian kingdom in case of victory of the Nazi. The underground was used by the Soviet partisan to fight against the Romanian. And obviously there is a museum right now uh, with a lot of memorabilia. It's really interesting. Private market is actually a cultural experience. It is fantastic to see farmers coming over from like the immense uh, countryside in uh, Ukraine selling their own goods like cheese or uh, meat. We are in the Privats Market and we are in the Sausage Pavilion and we are about to do like some sausage testing with uh, Mrs. Tatiana. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting the similar kind of meat, but with a more mature meal. Very nice. Went through like the different pavilions. Every pavilion has been built in a different time. So there is one that is more modern, the other one that is more like Russian style. Just a quick tip watch out rucksacks and handbags. We did a one-day trip to the Shabo Winery, which is probably the biggest um, winery in the whole Ukraine. So we are at the Shabo Winery, around 50 kilometers south of Odessa, on the estuary of the river Dniester. It is an impressive winery. It was founded in the 19th century by a Swiss colonists that were invited by the Tsar, and they came here actually following a three-month journey from Switzerland. Uh, they settle here, they start uh, cultivating grapes and producing wines. Time it becomes really, uh, really successful. The wine was considered really good and it grew up as a, as a Swiss colony. Following World War II uh, under Soviet time, uh, the state was nationalized and kind of fall in disgrace, but recently has been bought by a Georgian entrepreneur who has invested a lot and now it's a very important wine. It's really impressive on the investments that they made. This enterprise has more than 1,000 employees and everything is automatized and everything is with robotics. Our visit to the winery, it is definitely the most impressive winery I haven't seen. It's super professional. We tasted six amazing wines and now it's time to go back to Odessa. It's a very, it's a very lively city. It's a, it's a leading city, so probably not really that touristy, or at least like not, not touristy for people that are not kind of like local or coming from like adjacent areas as well. But it is a very nice town to, you know, actually just walk about and see and see people coming back from like from uh, from the from the beach from the, um, you know, go, go in and having like coffee in the city centre or just, you know, there's music, people just wanted to, you know, gather and have a chat in the centre of town, so it's very enjoyable. Definitely, despite the fact that you're a tourist, you don't really feel like a tourist. Odessa will be an asset for Ukraine because it's naturally open 
to, to connect with the world, to connect with Asia and to connect with Europe even more. Hi, my name is Alexandra. I'm the guide of Odessa Walks and I really recommend you to visit Odessa, uh, Ukraine, especially in summer because of the great weather, warm sea, uh, welcoming nice people who will be happy to host you, uh, delicious food, uh, we will give you uh, and open all the secrets of Odessa cuisine and uh, of course gorgeous architecture and huge cultural heritage. Mm -hmm.